This video is the third in the series describing the configuration of the Trilithic Seeker D digital leakage detector using the Trilithic Seeker setup software. In this video, we'll look at the antenna correction settings as well as the options you have on the right side of the software. The antenna correction settings are essentially the gain values for the antennas that the Seeker D uses. Unmounted means the antennas you would use while it's in handheld mode, in other words, outside of the cradle. Low band is for the 138 megahertz, high band is for the 612 megahertz. In this case, the 2.1 value uh, is used if you are using the dipole antenna to find leaks in handheld mode at the 138 megahertz frequency. If you're using the rubber duck antenna, you'd probably want to set this at zero. The high band value, the gain value of three, is for the rubber duck. If you're using the Yagi, you'd probably want to set this to nine. Mounted means the antennas that are mounted on the vehicle. Custom field is an offset measured in dB. You'll notice you have another option, reference digital, uh, for the low band and the high band. We need to know what the adjacent channel is to the carriers that we use in order for us to accurately calculate the true level of that leak. In this case, for the low band, reference digital is not checked, so that tells me I have an adjacent analog channel to the 138 megahertz carrier. For the high band, reference digital is checked, so that tells me I have a, an adjacent digital channel to the 612 megahertz carrier. On the right, I have send setup, get setup. After I've done all my programming, I've got the, the settings the way I want them. I've got the correct tech ID in. I can hit send setup and that will program the Seeker D with all these parameters. If I have a Seeker D that I want to see what its current programming is, maybe I suspect it's got the wrong frequency or the wrong tag, or the wrong uh, tech ID rather, I can connect to it and hit get setup and it will populate all these fields with the current settings in the Seeker D. I have save setup and open setup. Let's say I've got several units to program and I do half the day, I'm going to do half tomorrow. If I've got this already configured with the values that I want, I can save this setup to a file, just save it on my desktop or wherever, and it will save all these settings with the exception of the tech ID because that's unique to each seeker. And then tomorrow I can open up seeker setup software, open setup, grab that file and it will populate all the fields the way I had them the day before. We do have the ability to update firmware with the Seeker setup software. There is a small test device option if you suspect maybe there are some issues with the Seeker D. And then finally we have a clear records uh, option. We always suggest uh, that during the initial programming you clear out any records that are in the Seeker, Seeker D. Um, if it was installed in the vehicle prior to being programmed, chances are there's some junk data in there, junk records. Just go ahead and clear those out uh, before you actually start your write out. If you need further clarification or have uh, any questions regarding the Seeker D programming, please contact support at trilithic.com.